Hello, I promised you easy, 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 breezy pasta sauce that I use for everything. You can use it for pasta, which we, you know, we can do today. Uh, you can use it to die with it and then add some vegetables, you have your soup. Uh, I always have keep a can of, I mean, a container of it in my fridge. So if I come home and I'm, I'm you know, tired, I don't want to cook, usually I have one pita bread, I just put this sauce on it, some mozzarella cheese, put it in the oven, five minutes, you have pizza. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's my favorite and it's very inexpensive. So I think I would be posting more and more recipes of inexpensive ingredient. So the meal will cost about ten dollars to t to feed about ten, uh, four people. Um, so today is basic basic tomato sauce. We just need garlic, and garlic is really up to you. I love garlic. So at at the restaurant, I don't use, I don't use much because you don't want people leaving the restaurant with the garlic on their you know breath. Uh, but at home, I love garlic, so I use more garlic, and this is personal. Second. Um, don't buy pre-peeled garlic because the minute it it the skin comes out the radiation start to happen and sometimes you see mold and the tip it's very easy you know to peel garlic just take your you know garlic just push it with the with the knife it will come apart just take the skin and i use all this is i think i think it's 20 some years old this one it's working fine so i use it olive oil tomato paste that's why it's very inexpensive. Uh, basil, salt, and pepper. Uh, I don't have fresh basil, but if you have fresh basil, you do it at the end. Uh, you don't want to do it from the beginning. If you're using dry, use from the beginning to release the flavor. So uh, we're going to make the, the sauce, and then someday I'm going to try, depend how lazy I am, is to make dough from scratch, so this way you and your, your kids your whole family can make a uh, dough and you can make your own homemade pizza, something fun to do. I used to do it with my daughter and I used to give her the dough and she would, you know, roll and do and spend two hours just playing with the dough. So no further ado, with no further ado, we're going to make the, the sauce. The pasta, you can make the sauce two, three days ahead of time. Uh, you can make it fresh. So we have the popped bowl pasta. This dish, this uh, sauce, because it uh, has no vegetables and uh, kind of th uh, thick, it goes with any pasta. If you have a, a sauce with a lot of chunk in it, it's good to serve it over short pasta. Because if you have spaghetti, you roll, you roll, you take a spaghetti, you have the sauce with the vegetables left in your dish and your pasta there. I know I'm talking, I'm talking, not cooking. So we have the pot. And if you have a um, recipe that you want to learn, uh, I'll try to go through my cookbook and if I, you know, recipes about beans, uh, recipes that it won't cost more, a lot of money. Especially in this hard time, uh, we want you to stay active, have fun cooking, maybe learn or relearn to use your kitchen, uh, feeding your family, but also on a small budget. So. We have the olive oil in the pot, and I like thick pot. I have my garlic. And again, like this dish, to make the sauce and the pasta, I think it's about five, maximum eight dollars, let's put that way that you feed family of four. Garlic is good for your immune system, which we need to build right now. And also to scare people off. If you have out of garlic on your mouth, people stay away. We need them to stay away. to move to okay, this one is more to my liking the heat wise 
and while you're making your Italian, you know me, I like music. You can play Italian music. You can have a nice glass of Italian wine. So what I usually, I make the sauce and I boil the pasta. When the pasta is ready, and follow the instruction, because each pasta depends on the wheat they use, on the flour they use, it takes longer. You want the pasta to be al dente. Al dente, that's mean, when you bite to it, there's a texture. It's not dry, but it's not mushy, it's not a dough. Because basically, that's what pasta is. You don't want it that. And then, when the pasta is ready, you shake it out of the water, drain it, drain it really good, and you add it to your sauce, and you turn the heat on and stir it for about just one minute, just to bring out, while it's still hot. Don't rinse it with cold water. Same when you take your shower. You go out to shower, you pat yourself, and you put your lotion so your, bo your body is nice and tender, your pores is open, the, so the uh, lotion comes inside, same principle. So you drain the pasta really good, don't wash it with cold water, and just add it over your uh, your sauce, stir it for one minute, you have fresh basil, fresh parmesan cheese, that's when you do. See? The, uh, the garlic will start to sizzle, you don't want to burn it, you don't want this bad flavor, and you add your tomato paste. They're really good. Blend the blend the garlic with the olive oil. And the tomato paste. See somebody commented that I talk very fast, so I'm trying to talk very slow. So see I blend it really good. The olive oil with the garlic then at that point so for let's see six ounces of tomato paste I would use about a cup and a half water let's add them slowly and blend slowly and blend Blend. Okay, last of the water. Okay, some very simple pepper, salt, dry basil, and like I said, if you have fresh basil, wait until the end. Just when you turn off the heat after you, you add your pasta, put your fresh basil. Okay, stir, taste. Always taste your food so you can adjust your uh, flavors. Don't double dip. It needs a little bit more salt. Okay. tastes really good for me if my husband is not eating from this I'll add double the amount of garlic so I put eight gloves of garlic for six ounces of tomato paste you're talking to all of you no no I'm taping Jim oh sorry Now at this point, we taste again. It's only been three minutes. You put the lid on because when the tomato paste start, tomato paste start to cook, it splash everywhere, and you turn it way way low to about. Um, medium low and about three minutes you don't want more than three minutes because you don't want if you overcook tomato paste the sugar the natural sugar in it it's caramelized that's why sometimes tomato paste you look at them and they're brown that's mean they overcooked it 
it's just the sugar, the natural sugar in the tomato, it get caramelized. If you're going to use it for, for um, uh, soup or something, you're done for now. So I want to show you. That's the sauce. This is the thickness, so it's not runny, and it's not like tomato paste. It's just in bit, it's like almost tomatoes. It's like the texture of tomato sauce, the canned tomato sauce. When you buy, it, that's the one. Okay, so this sauce is done. So you have. You can add a little bit more water to it and then add vermicelli pasta, which is the thin, thin pasta break, broken. You have a nice tomato soup, really nice tomato soup. Sprinkle some fresh basil parmesan, good uh, garlic bread. You have excellent sandwich. I'm going to make ricotta pasta. So basically this is done. I'm waiting for my water to boil. When it boils, I drop it in the water. It about takes about eight minutes, take it. Shake it really good. I add it to my pasta sauce and just stir it for one minute overheat. That's it. You don't want it to be dry. You take it out, you add your fresh grated parmesan. If you're vegan, you don't have to add anything and make a nice a nice bread to it. Uh, if, you if you're eating um, you know, your meat, that would be a good side dish for you. If you're having as a main dish, just make meatball and a nice crunchy salad. And you have your fantastic sauce so just keep the sauce recipe because we're going to make a pizza dough and then you can use the sauce to make for your pizza uh, let's go have a nice glass of wine or cranberry juice put your feet up play nice music and just enjoy a nice conversation with your kids and your your, your the whole family and bon appetito